Hello everybody, this is Chris Powalko here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put on an F connector, in particular the compression type connectors. F connectors are used with 75 ohm coax systems, and you would see this in deployments such as cable TV. So there are other types of F connectors out there. There are the compression types that we're gonna to do today, and there are also uh, crimp type that um, are also available out there as well. But like, as I mentioned, we're gonna do the crimp type today and um, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to prep the end of the, the coax. So that's where the coax strippers come in. Now this part is where it gets messy because inside the coax there is a braided material that can turn into shards. So it's very, very important that you clean up afterwards. It's also important that you make sure that you don't get any of these shards in your eyes. Okay, let's see if that's good enough. Oh, it needs a little bit more. And sometimes with these, it's, it's a little bit of a hit and miss. Of times I would just fold it down and put just like that. Okay, so this is where the snips come in really handy is to, if you didn't get all the way through with the braid. I just twist and cut. Clean this up. So now we just slide the connector on. And what you want to ensure is that the dielectric or that white material is, there is, I'll just put it in the camera here so you can all see. So there is a, a bit of a hole, I'll push it out. So you see there's a bit of a hole there. So you want it to come so that it is level with that, with that hole. All right, and so now we take our compression tool, open it up, and so we want to slide slide the compress uh, the connector in. Now you have to be careful. You have to look at the com the connector itself, and right around in here there should be a space. If there isn't a space, that means it's already been already been connected. So here's an example of one that has been been connected. There is no space in between there. Okay, so you have to make sure that there is a space in between. All right, and so now it's just as simple as pushing on the handle, releasing it, pulling it out. Now what I'd like to do is I always do a pull test to ensure that um, it is working and it is held in place. That's an F connector. Thank you for joining us today. Visit yournetworkexpert.com for the latest articles and resources to help you further understand structured cabling and networking. As well, visit our YouTube page and click subscribe to get the latest videos from Your Network Expert. Thanks for watching. See you soon.